Question four. So, um, before we start sketching, let's just uh, remind ourselves what these transformations do. Well, this three is outside the function, so it's going to affect the y coordinate exactly as we would expect. So, we're going to multiply all the y coordinates by three. And similarly for part b, uh, again, the transformation is outside the function, so it's affecting the y values and it's just going to take 4 away from all the y, y coordinates. So back to part A. So we need to basically change all our key points to multiplying the y coordinate by 3. So this is no longer going to be minus 2, 4, but rather minus 2, 12. Well, 0, 0 remains 0, 0, because the y, y lots of 0, and 0, 0 being the y coordinate, 0, 3 is a 0. So that's still 0, 0. And this one here, again, let's multiply the y coordinate by 3, giving us 3 minus 24. So that's this graph here. And then here, we're just transforming the, uh, um, translating the graph 4 downwards. That's just shifting the whole graph down 4. We're taking away 4 from all the y coordinates. So no longer minus 2, 4, but minus 2, 0. No longer 0, 0, but 0, minus 4. And no longer 3, minus 8, but 3, minus 12. All three of these, we've just taken away 4 from the y-coordinate. For both these graphs, the x-coordinates have remained unchanged.